Happy Fry. Yay! We are here for our uh, math lesson for Friday. Um, I really enjoyed talking to you guys earlier um, in our chat. I hope you um, had a great time too. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, so let's end our week strong with some subtraction action. Okay, if you have your um, snap cubes that I had given to you, you have two different colors, right? I want you to show me um, 10 of one color and four of another. And we're gonna put them together. Okay, and we're gonna do something with this in a minute, but let's warm up our brains with a little bit of mental math. We're gonna use that brain of ours, okay? All right, um, what is six plus six? Six plus six is 12. Good job, our doubles fact. Well, what's 12 take away six? Six, that's right. All right, I have a harder one for you. What is 13 take away six? Seven, that's right. You know if 12 take away six is six and 13 is one more, it's gonna be seven. Okay, let me ask you. If 13 take away six is seven, what does six plus seven equal? 13, that's right, using those related facts. Okay, last one, last one. Let's try um, 14 take away five. 14 take away five is nine, you're right. Which means five plus nine equals what? 14, you got it. You guys are getting so strong with your number sense, knowing that related addition and subtraction facts can help you out solving those problems. And one more and one less. Oh, rocking it, guys. Okay, so if you have your 10 um, counters of one color and four counters of another, I want you to put them together. And what I really like with these is that it's so easy to see. Well, look at this. Here is my whole, right? These are all attached. That's the whole number. And four is one part, right? My green is one part. And my purple is another part. So my part and my part together makes the whole. So one part is four, one part is 10. The whole is 14. Let's try a subtraction sentence with this. So the whole is 14. I'm gonna say 14 minus four. What does that equal? That's really easy peasy because that's exactly how I have it broken up into my part and part. 14 take away four equals 10. And that's really easy for me to solve also because what do I know in my brain? Sorry. I know in my head, 14 take away four. This is four ones. This value is four ones. So if I take away the ones, I'm left with my 10, right? That's the value of this guy right here. Okay, let's do another one with our snap cubes real quick. 14 again, 14 is the whole. Let's try it a little bit harder. 14 take away five. Well, this part is four and I'm gonna take away one more. If 14 take away four equals 10, then 14 take away five, I know the purple was my 10, and I'm taking one purple away. So I have how many left? Part, part, whole. I'm taking this away. I have nine left, absolutely. And guys, so there's, we're using all these different strategies at the same time, right? I did 14 take away five, right? Well, I just changed it by one number, right? I made this one more. So that means my answer is gonna be one less than it was before. Or I know I can make 10. I can break this apart, right? Four minus one. And I can do 14 minus four gives me 10. Drop this guy down. 10 take away one equals nine. I am so capable of doing it all. I see part, part, whole. I can make 10. I can use my strategies of knowing plus one more or less or less one. We have all of these tools in our toolbox. So today in our subtraction action, we're gonna be taking away from the number 16 and 15 and all the numbers we have been. So these great big teen numbers, but you amazing first graders can do it. So let's do the first problem together in our book. 
on page three, four, five. Okay? Sadie has 16 beads. Remember, we're going to read the problem, make the plan, write it, and then solve. And we like to check to make sure we solved it correctly, right? Sadie has 16 beads. She uses nine to make a bracelet. How many beads does Sadie have left? Hmm, so I hear she started with 16. She used nine. How many does she have left? I can hear those clue words and I can tell they want me to do a subtraction sentence. I'm starting with 16. I'm losing nine. What am I left with? What's the difference, right? My whole, I'm taking away one part. What's the other part? Well, what I want you to do is take out your 10 frames, right? have these you can have you could draw one on a piece of paper you can use the one I gave you and we want your counters too okay all right so 16 take away 9 equals what let's solve this let's go fill my 10 frame right I know that 16 has 110 I'm filling up my 10 frame there's 10 I need six more two four five, six, right? Now, yesterday when we did part, part, whole, one way we were doing it is by circling that part or what I'm doing and what you guys can do too with your 10 frames and counters is flip it over so that we can see the part we're taking away. Here's my hole. Let's show this part so that I can see this part. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If the yellow is my nine, then the red must be the other part. What's my red? What's left over? Seven, absolutely. I am left over with seven. But you guys know that I'm not satisfied just yet. Let's check. If this is whole takeaway part gives me another part, then my addition fact is gonna be part plus part equals whole. Let's find out. Seven plus nine equals 16. Is that correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does that give me the whole of 16, 10, five, and one? It absolutely does. Guys, great job. You guys just subtracted from 16. You should be so proud. Like, wow, wow, wow. This is a huge, huge number. Okay, let's do number one. We have to solve. We have to solve this problem. 16, take away seven. Now we talked about this yesterday. When problems are written vertically instead of horizontally, nothing changes, right? And what's cool about this one is that they're showing us our 10 frame vertical too, right? Let me show you guys. If I have four on my 10 frame here, and then I turn my 10 frame, is it still four? It's still four. They're just changing it from horizontal to vertical, right? Still the same, the number doesn't change. They're just changing the way it looks. So to make sure, to remind you to always look and try to count and recognize those numbers, okay? So 16 take away seven equals what? Here's my hole. I'm taking away this part. What's the part I'm left with? I don't know. All right, with your 10 frames and your counters, I want you to show me 16 red. And we're gonna take away how many? Seven, we're gonna make seven yellow. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 16, take away seven, this part, Shows me this part. What's that part? Look at our 10 frame. Instant recognition. Yeah, that's nine. Right? You guys know you look at a 10 frame and you say one less of a full 10 frame is nine. But you know I want to check. Your book isn't asking you to check today. They want you to um, do your um, 10 frame like this. Draw the circle. But if you're doing it with me with your 10 frames and your counters, you don't have to do it in the book. Okay? But let's find our related addition fact just to make sure that we're correct. 
If 16 take away 7 equals 9, what's my related addition fact? My related addition fact would be 7 plus 9 equals 16. Is that correct? It absolutely is. Good job, guys. Okay, let's do number two. Number two is 15 take away 6 equals what? Okay, let's use our 10 frames. And we want this one to say 15, 15. 15 is our whole. <coughs> 6 is one part. What's the missing part? I have my 15 red counters. I'm going to make how many yellow? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. 15 take away six equals nine. It absolutely does. I am left with nine red counters. Nine is that part. Six is this part. 15 is them all together. What would my related addition fact be? Part plus part equals whole. Let's check. Nine plus six equals 15. Is that correct? You got it, first graders. Amazing. I am so, so, so impressed. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's do the top two on the next page together. And then I bet you can do the rest all on your own because you've been doing this subtraction action all week long and I know you've got it. Okay. Number three is 15 take away nine. Hmm. Those numbers sound awfully familiar. 15 take away nine. I think I just did a problem with those, but I can't remember the related fact. So let's solve this. Here's my hole. Here's 15. I'm taking away nine. I'm flipping over my counter so that I can see this part and find the missing part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's my missing part. Six. That's right. We just solved this problem, right guys? That 15 take away six equals nine means 15 take away nine equals Six. All right, let's find a related addition fact, just to make sure. Six plus nine equals 15. And this picture here, our 10 frame with 15, this number, um, this 10 frame tells us this story. It also tells us this story, right? We see part, we see one part, we see the whole. It tells us this story, it tells us that story, which is why they are related facts. Absolutely. Okay, number four. 13 take away five equals what? What's the missing part? Okay, let's make our 10 frame with our red counters. Our whole is 13. And we're taking away how many? Let's make five yellow. Your counters too, ready? One, two, three, four, five. That's this part. What's my missing part? What is the red? Eight, absolutely. Eight, eight, eight. 13 take away five equals eight. How do you guys feel about this? In the middle or woo woo. Find someone in the room with you and tell them woo woo because I hope that's how you feel about this. Okay, easy peasy. We are breezing through this subtraction action, guys. All right, I want you to do numbers five, six, and seven all by yourself. We're going to problem solve together, and then you're going to show me the rest that you do all by yourself, you amazing, amazing first grader, okay? All right, so we're jumping to number eight. There are 15 apples, 15 apple trees, and eight peach trees on a farm. How many more apple trees are there? Hmm. All right, I have to read this. I read this and I'm making a plan. There are 15 apple trees. And there are eight peach trees. How many more apple
apple trees are there? So that means they want to know how much, what, this is one part of this number. What's the missing part? How many more are there? What's the difference between these two numbers, right? The difference is saying, what's the missing part, right? So I'm going to do 15 minus 8 equals, I don't know that yet. How can we find this out? With your 10 frames, I want to see red 15, right? 15 counters. Now you can also, in your book, I think they're showing them to you on the side, but it's the same, right? We know vertical or horizontal, one side or the other. They're just showing you there's different ways to make that number 15, which is why there's different ways to make the different parts, right? All different ways. So 15 take away eight. In your book, you can circle the part that's taken away, or if you're doing your counters, flip them over with me, which is what I'm doing, right? I'm taking away eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 15 take away eight leaves me with seven. It does. That's my whole. I take away this part. This is the other part. This is the difference. There are seven more apple trees than peach trees, right? That is the difference. Now, I want to go through this again with our strategy of making 10. Okay, what is the other way we could have solved this? I'm going to go back to my hole. Right? We know that we can make 10, right? I can tell we're going to make, we can make 10 because this number has a larger value than this digit, right? The, the value of this is five ones. The value of this is eight ones, which means within that eight, I can decompose it and make five. And then I can take this five away and make that 10, right? And that can only help me because my number sense within 10 is so, so strong. So first I'm going to break this apart. So I'm going to bring this down 15 and I'm going to break this apart into what two numbers? I want one of them to be five. And if I'm decomposing eight, one part is five, the other part must be three. So first I'm gonna take away five, then I'm gonna take away three, and then I will find how many more apple trees there are than peach trees, right? So I wanna do this because 15 take away five, then take away three is gonna give me this answer, right? 15 take away five is 10, right? I get 10 because I take five away from 15 right here. But I'm not done yet, right? I didn't do this yet. I didn't take away my three. 10 take away three equals seven. So we first solved this problem with our part part whole, right? This is another way of solving our problem. Is Are they both correct? Absolutely but I want you to know that there are always more than one way to solve these problems, right? Some ways take a little longer, some ways are a little quicker, some ways you can do really quick in your head once you keep practicing, practicing them, right? All right, boys, I hope you had so much fun today. You are getting so strong in your number facts. Um, again, on this page that we just did, I want you to do numbers five, six, and seven. And then on the next page, you have one, two, three, and four. And then send them to me, and I hope you have an awesome weekend. All right, love you guys. Bye.